Hey guys, Machines and Metal here, just in the shop working on uh, golf cart starters and I thought I'd like to show you what's going on. Um, I've got these two golf cart starters. This one here had a little meltdown, it actually caught fire and uh, shorted out inside and it melted the insulation and a bunch of the, um, a bunch of the winding componentry. So I replaced this starter with a brand new one because it was going to cost more to have this rebuilt than it would cost to replace the starter. Uh, so this is spare parts now, but today um, I've got this starter, it's the exact same starter, out of another machine, and uh, it would start intermittently, so sometimes it would, would turn and other times it wouldn't. And we found that if you actually turn the starter ever so slightly and turn the key, the motor would start, which indicates that the brushes are worn out. So I took the starter out of the machine and you can see that the brushes are very short. The spring is pressing against the bottom of the brush and you can see that the brush is only sticking out maybe a, an eighth of an inch, a little more, maybe three sixteenths of an inch. And just for example purposes, if you look at the burnt out one, the spring is in the same position and you can see that the, the brush is a good, you know, three eighths of an inch long. Um, you can see the difference there. So if you look at the armature, or sorry, the commutator, you can see on this motor, which still works, but intermittently, it's really rough. It's worn down. I don't know if you can hear that. That bearing's rough too. So this commutator probably needs a good polishing. If not, it needs to be replaced. But the commutator on this isn't so bad. It's actually not, not as bad. So what I'm thinking I'm gonna do is take this commutator, polish this up, this bearing is better, and put this entire commutator into this starter. And then I will use uh, the brushes from this starter, put them into this starter, and put this together and hopefully it works. That way we'll save ourselves the cost of a new starter. We'll use up the good parts from that one and uh, yeah, we'll be, we'll be back in business with this work truck. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do a little switch back and forth and I'll turn the camera back on after the install and see if this thing starts working again. All right, I got this a little more apart. I pulled the commutator out of the housing, knocked off the pulley and um, yeah, you can kind of see it a little better now. That uh, commutator is pretty much finished. So what I'm going to do is take apart this motor, salvage the commutator and the, this bracket piece because they're attached together. And then I'm going to take this 400 grit um, sandpaper and give this a little bit of a buff, a little bit of a polish. And then I'm going to take the brushes out of that unit, put them into this unit, and put this back together and see how it works. All right, guys, we have run into a bit of a problem. This is the one that melted down, the parts one, that I was planning to use the commutator. And as you can see, it's, it's toast. Burned right out. So what I'm going to do is polish this up as best I can, clean it up, swap those brushes that I was talking about and see if we can get another season or so out of this starter. If we can't, then I will, if we can't, then I will order a replacement unit because I need one. I don't have enough parts here to build another starter. And if it gets us through the season, then I will just replace it the next time it dies. Throw it back together here and see if it works. Got the uh, cap back on, just installing these plugs. There's four of these plugs. You can see there's the new brush the used new brush inside on the old commutator all polished up so we're gonna we're gonna finish putting this thing together and uh, throw it in the machine and see if it works all right so we got the starter back in you can see it right down there and uh, so before when you went to start this thing nothing would happen most of the time and in order to make it work you would have to just turn turn the engine which turned the starter a little bit see the pulley turning and then then it would start then you'd step on the pedal and it would start so 
we're gonna I hooked up the battery and nothing blew up so we're gonna try we're gonna try um, just kicking this thing over and see if it uh, I'm just gonna press on the pedal here and see if it kicks over without having to manually rotate the engine so that's a good sign and it wants to start up So that's working better than it did before. I don't have a lot of faith in this fix, but it saved about four or five hundred dollars today, um, and it used up some parts that uh, I would have otherwise thrown out. So if this gets us through the rest of the season and we buy a starter for this thing next year, I think that's a win. I'm just going to mark this machine say that the starter is questionable and if it acts up in the near future then we know we'll have to replace it. I'm um, gonna button this back up and throw it back in the fleet start fixing something else. Thanks for watching.